Hi, hi everyone, this is Andrea, and I am here to give you a message this morning. I am the director of Harnessing Your Divine Feminine. We are on the leading edge of women's organizations. Our culture is metaphysics, and we welcome all metaphysical women, all women, whether you want to learn about metaphysics or you're already well into your metaphysical journey. We also offer retreats, workshops. Um, I teach classes. I do intuitive readings at a little bookstore in, in a suburb of Atlanta. And the way to get in touch with me is in the description box. Could you please click that subscribe button? Click on the bell. That is complimentary. And that really supports all YouTubers. Okay. So I'm going to draw some cards for you this morning. Thank you so much, everyone who listened to my um, food and food healthy eating journey yesterday. I've just been discovering more and more through talking to a lot of other women and, you know, food and culture is a big thing. Um, we feel like we're culturally obligated to eat in a certain manner, even if it goes against what our body needs, right? And I'm trying to break that culture, break that paradigm. I love all cultures, right? And if you are, if you're happy and healthy, eat it, do it, if that's what makes you happy. I think the issue is what I'm trying to break the cycle of is people eating foods in which are not good for their body because they feel culturally obligated to do so. And that is, that's not something you want anyone, your, anyone you love to do, right? You want everyone to know food is fuel, right? So let's look at some cards for today. Let's look at some cards for today. I'm going to pick from the John Holland deck. That's what I intuitively, intuitively grabbed first. We have the truth. The truth is coming out. You know, I also often get reminded of, you don't always have to tell your side of the story. Your side of the story is going to come out, okay? Your side of the story, people will observe it, see it. The truth is coming out, and that's above and so below. That's above and below. The truth comes out on a personal level, and your home's all the way up to a global level. Um, an emotional loss. You might find out a truth about somebody this week that it causes you an emotion, emotional loss. It may be like you find out someone doesn't have the same feelings for you, or you find out someone's cheating, or you find out maybe your child's not, um, maybe your child's struggling, or you may find out something about a boss or something, but the truth is coming out and it may hurt and that's okay. You know, sometimes we hurt so we can discern what, what the life we want and the life we don't want. Patience and planning, whatever's happening, you can be a support system, okay? Help the person, instead of getting emotionally involved, instead of your ego trying to save someone, instead of your ego getting triggered, breathe, right? When you find out this truth today, you need to breathe and plan, plan a new thing, plan, plan a new way of living, plan something that's going to offer supportive solutions to that person or that situation that you, that you're in this week. Okay. Um, journal, ask spirit for a plan of action. Um, and you sometimes even like a little minor tweak in life is like makes a world of difference. And if it's a big thing, if it's like your spouse is cheating or your boyfriend or girlfriend's cheating, or if it's like a little thing like, oh, maybe I didn't get such a good review at work. Both can take planning and they really want you not to get triggered. They want your angels to come in. Your angels are going to be there with you to calm you, to calm your nerves. So you're not thrown into a fight or flight mode where you perhaps may make like a permanent decision based on temporary feelings. And as you plan the death card, the death card means change. I love the death card because it means change and we should all be evolving and changing constantly every day, right? So your planning will create positive change for you. And then the high priestess, sit in your high priestess mode, be the queen, be the priestess. You know, you created the change. You had, a, you had an issue. You made a plan. You created healthy change. So celebrate that. Okay. Sit in your high priestess power with that. And the two of wands, everything will balance out. That's what I'm getting, okay? Everything's going to balance out. Um, whatever whatever situation you're in today, everything's going to balance out. The five of pentacles, don't overspend, don't panic, don't overeat, don't shop because you're stressed. Don't try to fill that void with money, buying things or giving money to someone because you think it's going to solve a problem. That's really a temporary solution or that's a permanent solution, a long-term a long term headache, right? If you go in debt or you start a negative domino effect with money. Don't do it. Hide your money. Put it somewhere. Put it in a bank that no one knows about. Keep yourself a stash is what I'm hearing. And the princess of pentacles, keep your stash. Hide it under the bed in the freezer or whatever. Just always have some money just for you. And then you have some, then you have some freedom. You have some confidence in that you're, you're going to be able to ride for yourself, your family, and your community in that order. I'm going to now draw from the moon goddess deck and see what is following. 
that was a deep reading. I didn't know where that came from. <laughs> like it just fell out of the sky. I wasn't even thinking about stuff like that this morning. Emotion. I got the emotion card, the mermaid card, the water, right? This is going to be very emotional. You have, you may have emotional front emotions just based on all the change that's happened. It may be bittersweet. It could be tears of joy, right? I see you having like, oh, and this astrological stuff that's happening is going to be very passionate. It's going to ignite a lot of passion. So when you, it could be intimacy, passion, it could be. So remember, just don't let your ego flare. Don't let your temper flare. That's the message for you. Like, because passion can be really good and it can also be really dramatic. And you want to make sure that you keep your balance, find your center. And then the dreamer. Okay. So dream about your future. Dream about what future you really could create. Because you could really create whatever reality you wanted. Whatever reality you wanted, right? Meditation. I got the meditation card. Meditate on what you actually want. And it's okay to say, I don't know what I want right now. I've had to admit that before in my life. I've had to be like, you know what? I don't know what I want. And that's an okay. Because once you admit you don't know what you want, the answer comes and you realize, okay, this is what's going to make my life more comfortable. And keep going. No matter what you do, keep going. Because there's all the sun always comes out no matter what situation you're in. It will get better. It will get better. Okay? Somebody needs to hear that. That card came up twice. Just keep going. It will get better. Don't don't have you know if you have suicidal thoughts recognize that that's an anxiety attack you're having an anxiety attack if you have suicidal thoughts it can be a symptom of an anxiety attack so get help for that get help anywhere you can as you go through this transition everybody's gonna everyone's always going through transition it seems this week might be bigger bigger for some people and i'm here for you just look at the link in my website look at my website to know how to get in touch with me and thank you so much for listening on this tuesday morning namaste